Hello everybody, my name is FresX and welcome back to the Praetorian. So today we have one simple goal, which is to kill as many barbarians as possible and maybe take some of their land. I'm actually going to start the assault on Rem Remtool Castle. Now, we are a little bit outnumbered right now when the game actually loads. <laughs> if the game loads. But we'll see in a second. We're actually so strong with our legionaries. We're actually not that bad off. <laughs> now, I have already called some backup. I've got uh, Deadeye and Haven the Stranger moving towards us at rapid speed. I think they're really far away. Oh, actually, they're only over there. That's totally fine. So while they're running over to us, I'm going to build myself some... Let's have a look. Get some of these things. We'll get some catapults. Just, you know, just get some stuff we can use to kill enemies. It'd be totally fine. I am a bit worried about this happening. <laughs> I like how I was like, this could happen. And here it is. Do you know what? That's fine. We can ignore those guys. Unless they get back up. I don't think those are going to be too scary. I don't think there's anything else we need, to be honest. But they do have a lot of catapults. I feel like maybe we should get rid of the catapults first. And then we will go and... Let everyone, I think. It's kind of a shame that we can't actually call back up in while in the middle of a siege anymore. you think that would be a very easy thing to do. <gasps> Buddy! Are you okay? He's not okay. <laughs> I can't help. I'm sorry. Everyone's just dying. Okay, but barbarians, this has gone too far. This has gone too far. Let's hope this catapult can solo some of the stuff. No. It's not doing any... Kill the catapults! You know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. It got two of them down. As long as they got no catapults, I'm happy to attack. Kill the last one. Oh, they spawned another one. It's such a weird minigame in there. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just watching like random lines appear and uh, shoot stuff. Okay, that's good enough for me. I think it's time to move in, everybody. Let's do this. Oh, wait, before we go in, actually, I have got a level up somewhere. Let's just get that sorted out before we go anywhere else. Oh, engineering skill. Good job, G. Good job. You get to increase your engineering prowess. <gasps> Range troops have 50% more ammo while besieging. This is the, one of the most useful perks I think they've added to the game. Because especially if you're attacking, you can actually just sit there and just shoot enemies forever. It'd be perfect. And also, Crayons has leveled up. <laughs> I still can't get over why my uh, character's called Crayons, but it is what it is. Okay, let's do this. Nothing can go wrong. So, of course, we do... Depending on what map it is, we have to be a little bit careful with the amount of archers they have. But hopefully we just got to deal with a bunch of slingers and stuff. Okay, everybody, it's finally loaded. I literally went and had breakfast while it was loading. <laughs> it took so long. It's okay, whatever. It's not a problem. Um, let's see. Lock, you should be infantry commander, my friend. So this is a very, very scary looking castle. I presume there's going to be battalions everywhere. Uh, what we do, let's get everybody to pull back for now. Oh, actually, where's... We've got trebuchets. <gasps> That looks cool. I love this. Look how cool this is. I do kind of worry about it falling down. But I mean, hopefully no one will push it. <laughs> we should probably keep away from it as much as we can. So we're just going to start the battle as soon as possible. I'm going to pull my guys back a little bit further. And we'll start the battle right away. Because of course, as we know, it's going to make everybody into random formation. So we've got to fix that right away. Uh, let's get that sorted out. I'm so happy they added in slow motion mode. Because otherwise this would be even harder than before. Everyone! Oh, Everyone last guy. Archers. Okay, I'm happy with that. So, they have no catapults or trebuchets. Uh, they are completely defenseless. Well, not defenseless. They, they've only got basic arrows and stuff. So what we do, we push forward a large legion. And we just have them sit sitting around the middle here on shield wall mode. And we'll have the archer squad just behind a little bit. And they can just shoot to their heart's content. Go, everybody. Go, go, go. I'm going to move in closer and get some headshots myself. <gasps> oh, where did that even go? <laughs> I was looking forward to seeing something get hit there, but it didn't go very well. You never know, actually, because we got two trebuchets. They might actually just accidentally, like... Well, not accidentally. They might actually destroy, like, some of the wall palisades so we can just shoot inside. Let's see. Oh, okay, there's so many barbarians. They're just not doing anything. <laughs> it's like... At least they're ready, though, right? I mean, every time I do a siege, they're not even in position. <laughs> We got this. Do we have arrow barrels on this map? I don't think we... I didn't see any on the way up, but we can just nick over people's ammo. It's not a problem. Yes. Ow! Oh, wait. I say ow. It didn't really hurt me. <laughs> I have a lot of very good armor. Low-level archers are not going to kill me. They're up there as well. Ooh, that was a bit different. Though. That actually hurt me. Okay, Romans. What are you doing? Why are you at the front if you haven't got a shield, man? Infantry! You are in shield one way, right? They are. 
I like how I told my horse to run away. Just it's just started to literally dig a hole in the ground. Oh, it's stuck on the, the spikes. Horsey. No. Oh. Let's get you out of here, buddy. Go, horse. Hide. Um. Well, I guess it's fine. <laughs> There's no trebuchets, right? So they probably, they probably won't kill my horse. Probably. Let's try and knock out some of these guys. Especially the guys trying to kill me. This is looking pretty good, actually. This is looking pretty decent. What we do... Romans, advance forward. With switch positions. We'll get the uh, archers a bit closer so they can do some more damage. Are they actually... Wait, 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 wait. There you go. Of course, it makes them more accurate, the enemies, but we're doing shivel anyway, so it should be totally fine. Oh. Oh, I don't know where I was aiming there, but it was not the right place. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get used to, because I have got... I think I definitely have the perk which increases my vision zoom in, so it's a bit strange. I'm not used to having this perk. But I still can hit people. It's totally fine. This guy is literally outside the window. <laughs> he's, he's so energetic. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. Keep doing stuff, guys. Keep doing stuff. Oh. It's fine. It's not really a test pseudo, but we do have a pretty epic shield wall going on right now. Main gates down? Nearly. I kind of feel like we should just stay here for a little bit, everybody. We're doing some good progress here. We'll try and wait until we clear off the wall a bit, and then we go in, I think. Actually, I say all this. It does take me a while to actually take down the gate sometimes with this faction. But we'll see what we can do. Oh, I am losing HP, sorry, though. Keep defending, men. I wonder how many archers they have. I would love it if they add, like, something to the game where you can see, like, a general breakdown of the enemy's army. Or your army as well. Like, how many archers you got left, like, in the tab screen. I think pretty handy. Of course, I don't really want to attack now because we want to try and save our archers so they can just kill enemies at the back. I only got four shots left. I say, what, we'll make a move after I get rid of my arrows, and then we we'll go in. What? <laughs> it's merely a flesh wound. You got shot in the face. It's okay. That'll do for me, guys. We're moving in. Follow me, man. Follow me. Okay. This gate does not look very safe. <laughs> I am terrified about this, though. Take this! Wait, that worked? <laughs> I'll take it. Enemy down. But how? Don't question it. Okay, we've got to keep an eye on the roof here, because they might just attack us with boulders, which is always very fun, but not if you're on the receiving end. <gasps> no! Guys, be careful! It's happening. Aim for me. We did. <laughs> if they aim for me, they hit the barricade, so it's totally fine. Uh oh. Someone just died. <laughs> that guy did not survive getting hit in the face by a boulder. Uh oh. It's happening again. Aim for me. Aim over here. I'm shiny. He's doing it. He's looking at me. Excellent. He ruined it. Perfect. Luckily, they have programmed the AI to be... Um, Assess with the player, so it's not as bad as it would be if it wasn't. I do kind of wish it would just attack everybody equally, though. I don't know why the player needs to be singled out, but it's okay. Wait, am I being pushed out? Oh, this is my base. Get stay out of the way. It's very airy, though. I feel like it would be very good ventilation if you live in this castle. Aim at me. Wait, is someone shooting? He's got killed. <laughs> It's time! Oh. <laughs> I'm dead. Yep, everybody, that's how the game works. <laughs> I got hit in the face by a javelin. My dreams of epic conquest are over. Once again, this is why I probably never do an Iron Man series, because uh, I would have to just hide the entire battle. You can get killed at any second by anything. <laughs> just like in real life. It's like, oh no, I got a brain aneurysm. And you're dead. This is looking good though, this is looking good. Oh, look at this nice little circle we've got going. 
the saddest thing right now is I was hoping, I was going to say I hope that we get to see a keep battle, but I'm dead, <laughs> so we can't do a keep battle. We had to auto resolve it. Nice, good job, guys, good job. Who's this? It's having the stream. So this guy is one of my new companions. I haven't, of course, equipped him yet, but he needs a giant axe, so we need to get him a giant axe at some point. In fact, I think I have one. I'll have a look. Oh, I have one of these. <gasps> yeah. Oh, he didn't die. <laughs> it's merely a flesh wound. I like how he never been tactics and just using that instead. Why are there so many battalions over there? Oh, no. I think that's one of my centurions. Don't die. I need my party capacity. Buddy, don't do this to me. Yeah! <laughs> They're so excited. Oh. Good job, guys. Yes! We done it. I think there might be a key battle because I said there should be one. Let's have a look. No, we're fine. I thought for a second that was a girl, but we're okay. <laughs> There's no nudity I had to blur out yet. We're still okay. Okay, you're all my prisoner, sir. I feel like we should just... I'll keep these guys. We're keeping them, we put them in prison. Uh, let's upgrade the guys that survived. Nice. I can actually just auto upgrade all those fellas, but you know, because there's no other way for them to go. <laughs> they already have what they need. Show mercy. Yes. Moving on. Beautiful. Okay, so we actually have enough renown already to create a, another group of uh, clan units. Now, I'm not sure what to... I, I, I forgot to look up names. <laughs> so I think so far we got Sanguinius, which is a dude from Warhammer. We got uh, Scorpio, which is probably not spelt correctly from me playing, uh, was it Rome Total War 1, which is one of the starting factions of Rome, which is the blue guys. And I think we have, I'm going to call his Julius? No, that's a bit risky, isn't it? We can't call anybody Julius. He's probably going to kill us. Um, I'm not sure what to pick. We just we just wing it. <laughs> In my normal fashion, we just wing it. So I'm actually going to make Dead Eye the next companion, but I I kind of want to. He's wondering why he's got a toga on, because first off, he's the White Power Roman, and also it's because I want to experiment and see if he upgrades his armor himself. Because I think it'd be cool if they do that. You haven't got to worry about equipping them then. But we'll see what happens. Um, Dead Eye, I wish to reward you for your service. Wait, what's the sound called? Gretamore, okay. <laughs> I forgot what the place I just took over was called, I'm not going to lie. Um, I wish to reward you for your service, sir. You will be given Remtoil Castle. What? You don't have £20,000? What? Really? Oh. Payment to mercenaries, 11 grand. <laughs> Although, mercenaries, you guys are literally bankrupting me. Can you please calm down? It's okay. Eventually, they give up with their uh, contracts and then move on. And we can just have our normal guys. Uh, okay, before we do anything else, though, let's have a look. Gun Gungeon? <laughs> Gun Isn't there a game called Gungeon? <laughs> Into the Gungeon. Who needs dungeons? We have Gungeons now. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Oh, wait. Is there any... Because sometimes people around me dump prisoners in here, but not today. Uh, let's see. Go to the fella over here. 30 grand, I'll take that. And also, we need to sell some random stuff. Oh, wait. I was doing smithing as well, wasn't I? Because I can get some more XP from that. Uh, you still have 5%! Oh, I think stamina only recharges if you're waiting in a town, which we're not going to be doing. So I guess, Tiberius, you can never level up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say. I'm not going to sit around doing nothing. That's, that's not my kind of thing. Uh, let's see. I'm 60 grand. I'm happy with that. I can take that. So, Deadeye, once again, my friend. I know I, was, <laughs> I know I kind of screwed you over twice by starting the conversation and walking away, but this time, you will be given the lordship of the castle. Yes. Yes. Wait. He already has a surname. We could use his surname. <gasps> oh, thank you, whoever created this companion. I haven't got to think of a name. We can just use his already existing name. Of course, it means he's going to be Senderous Deadeye uh, Vilnus Vilnus. <laughs> but it's okay, whatever. There you go, buddy. I like how you got all these little... Um, what are these? What are those? Are they like dumplings? I'm going to say they're food related because I'm hungry right now. Um, despite just having breakfast. <laughs> That's the problem with me. I'm always hungry. Okay. So now we have another clan once more. Oh, what type of person were you? Uh, what culture are you, my friend? This is all the wrong buttons, everybody. I'm messing this up pretty badly. He looks like he's a battalion. 
He is a battalion. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, he's upgraded his armor. Now he's a battalion. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, okay, so I have already... The new companions I'm recruiting. I'm trying to only recruit Imperials, by the way. So we are trying to deal with that. What? Are we clan rank 5? Damn, boy. We are clan rank 5. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to spew out Quintons at some point. And also we get another guy, which I'll rename at the end of the episode. We'll turn into another Imperial later. Uh, so is there any people here? Are there any, is there anyone here that is in fact an Imperial? You are. Okay. You are an Imperial. Is there any... Is, why are there so many companions here? Oh, this guy... <laughs> Enix the robber. I probably should check if they got any good skills over because uh, I've just been hiring random people, of course, which is not a good idea. But I mean... They never level up anyway. <laughs> I haven't got like a million hours in the game, so they're not leveled up at all. It's, it's going to take forever. You, okay, there's quite a few girls. Wait, can't I get two companions? I can. I'm going to hire you. I'm going to hire the robber. Congratulations, random people. Of course, like I said, I'm going to rename it at the end of the episode so we have more people being named then, but we go from there. I kind of am tempted to release them into the wild, so what we might do is like, <laughs> go my wildlings. Ooh. I reckon we can kill this guy. It's going to be good anyway because we need some more money. Uh, also, I should have checked. Oh, we'll do it afterwards. I need to check the town, see how it's doing, because we did have a bit of a problem with uh, morale originally, loyalty, but I think it's under control now. Um. Ooh. Ooh. I feel initiate kingdom decisions or thirty percent less. Hmm. Hmm. I think we go for flex wear fix because it increases the amount of recruitment from urban notables, which I think is pretty awesome. So we go for that for sure. Anybody else level up? No. Let's take this guy down. Wait. Have you upgraded yourself? No, as, as, as he's got like loads of he's got like a full battalion armor and stuff. That's cool. So I think Crow's Hall in that though, he didn't change his armor, did he? No, Jane looks like he's got the same armor, but I don't know. I think he took his helmet off. Yeah, he took his helmet off. Interesting. And I think Crotor has the same chest piece. So I guess it might be like a, if they have no armor, they upgrade themselves, but otherwise it's just um it's arbitrary. It's not like they're actually upgrading equipment themselves, they're just getting stuff. So I would love it if like um, you have like starter clans in the game like you are and they try and like join different kingdoms and stuff. Exactly what the player does. And they, like, they upgrade their equipment over time. They get their own companions. I think that'd be really, really cool. If that's going to happen, probably not. Um, but I think it'd be a very cool feature for it to happen if it is possible. Because right now it feels like the AI laws just spawn in magically. They have magic troops. And they die, and they respawn magically with more stuff again. <laughs> it's not very, it's not very uh, same to the player whatsoever. So, of course, they had the same system in Warband, but I mean that game is like 14 years old. I mean this is 2022, everybody. We should be having some more advanced stuff at this point, surely. Okay, everybody, let's spread out. Get ready. I, I hope. I presume that means though he's going to continually spawn in with random. Battalion troops as nobles, though. Every time my clan leaders die, or whatever culture they're part of. So, oh, look at all these bolts just flying. They're so beautiful. Yeah, wait a second. His army is pretty big, actually. This is a very. I've never seen this map before. This is definitely a, one of those maps. Oh, is that the middle of Britannia? Oh, I see. Yeah, so this is actually where we are on the map. I love this new system, it's really cool. And also, people were like, oh, it's just some new maps. If you think about it, when we get, like, the Lord of the Rings mod and stuff now, they're probably going to go and have custom maps as well. So now they've got the system in place, we're going to have some really cool stuff down the line. Like, imagine, like, fighting on a hill, like, next to, like, um, Minas Terrath or something. It'd be really cool. Move. Move. One day. One day. <laughs> but not today. Forward. 2086. Would I be alive by then? Probably not. <laughs> I would have died from too much chocolate. It would have been a big problem. Take this! I wasn't expecting a double jump. Uh oh. <laughs> My parents are married. Leave me be. 
How dare you insult my family. Okay, so... We do have a situation where... First off... Deadeye. What are you doing? <laughs> you're not even a... You're not an infantry person. Whatever, it's totally fine. Um, I'm actually going to ignore the cavalry, I think. I'm pretty confident right now. We're just going to move forward and we're just going to attack them. Let's get you guys in this little ditch here so you, no one can see you. So what I'm hoping is going to happen is I hope they're going to just attack me. Because <laughs> they're going to get shot in the face by my archers at close range. And then they're going to be shot in the face by the javelins right in the face as well. The cavalry hopefully is strong enough to hold them off for a little bit. Look, buddy, dead eye. Get off your horse, Matt. Did I never give you a better bow? I feel kind of bad, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Can you get off your horse? Wait, are you an archer? You might be an archer. Oh, they're already here. Oh, <laughs> danger close. Danger close. Oh, look at the... Oh, no. <laughs> this is exactly what the pillar was designed for. This exact thing. Okay, guys, start the battle. When the archers get positioned, it's going to be even better. Okay, let's get off and start shooting people. Oh, I can't believe that was such close range. It's a shame that my archers weren't ready, though. Archers, shoot them in the face, because we can see over the enemies. We can just shoot them right now. Oh, that guy is so lucky. Must kill lucky guy. Oh, no, that was his friend. <gasps> is that a lord? Nope, it's dead. <laughs> I feel like the enemy may have made a bit of a mistake with their strategy here. Take this. Oh, 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 damn! Oh, oh wait, we've, we're close to 200 skill points in bows. Let's try and get that. Let's, let's spam bow for a little bit and see if we get to 200. I'm kind of terrified being here because there seems to be a lot of people with bows. Um, I'm sure we'll be fine. Uh, game. How dare you? There you go. The thing is, I'm not sure how much... Oh, I'm not sure how much more I can actually level up bow skills. I haven't used it in a while, so... We still seem to be doing it, though. Very, not that fast, but we are doing it. Oh, I love it. Ow. I am dying slowly. Fire faster, Tiberius. Fire for the fire gods. That was really good. We killed loads of guys there. I do feel bad for the AI at this point, everybody. But, I mean, I'm using the mod that improves the AI. And I got it on the higher settings. I mean, there's not much else <laughs> that we can do to make it hard, hard at this point. Um, but it, the guess, this is what the game's like at the moment. So, people in the comments are saying, Oh, why don't you do a speed run? I don't think it'd be very interesting. Well, first off, I'm not a speed runner. And also, like, the game's like... It's, it's not... I don't think it would be gra like gratifying. It's not like we're doing a challenge. It's just like... Because you're going to win regardless when you get this strong. Um, so I feel like until they fix that stuff up and make it a bit harder, there's not really much point doing that kind of stuff. It is, it is what it is, I guess. They should really look into um, some other games like Star Sector, which is kind of pretty much Space Mountain Blade. And uh, that has some really interesting mid and late game content with like some crazy drone ships and like massive armadas you got to fight. I feel like they need some more like end game stuff that's more interesting. I mean, I think, like, some mods from Warband had, like, a giant invasion from, like, a crazy force that was really powerful. That was really fun. But hopefully they'll work out anyway, because I know the game is still in development, of course. So hopefully they, on their to-do list, because they're on 1.7 right now, it is going to be difficulty, AI, kingdom building, and clan management. I think those are the things that need to be improved quite a lot. So anyway, <laughs> and mod tools. Where are the mod tools, everybody? We need the mod tools. I want to play Lord of the Rings mod. Give us the mod tools. Okay, anyway. Rant over, everybody. Rant over. I, I like how I was just writing to fill the void of waiting for that carry to die, but he took so long <laughs> to die. There's another one. Oh, just fast forward, guys. Just fast forward. Literally, 120 people were chasing one guy. And he's totally fine. <laughs> like, it's not a problem. Just kill him. Somebody just kill him, please. Is that him? No. If I see him, I'm going to try and shoot him. I think he's just over there. Oh, they got him finally. Good job, guys. Good job. At last. At last. Heaven be praised. You are... I don't know. I was going to try and say your name, but I'm not going to... Cat. And he's got a cat. 
No, that's not a cat. <laughs> what is it? Is this going to be a dog? What kind of animal is this? It looks like something from a like an alien sci-fi movie. That is not a dog. That is not a fox. That is not a wolf. I don't know what that is. It's got like eight legs. It's like a centipede animal. You are a crazy person, sir. At least put a wolf as your banner. <gasps> Wait, we're okay. <laughs> She's got armor on everybody. It's okay. We haven't got a panic. No panicking. We're oh, okay. It's okay. My channel gets to remain up online. It's totally fine. Okay, that was pretty good, actually. We, we got some good kills there. And we got a bunch of uh, um, influence as well. I might even be able to do two in one video. We got if we find another big battle, we could probably do two in one video. Let's see. Uh, let's put these guys in the gar oh, not garrison. Sorry, I keep putting in the garrison. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. Where are these guys coming from? <laughs> There's just loads of random Romans in here all of a sudden. I did could put those guys in the prison though, so maybe they finally reach the point where they can be hired. Um, any more? Yeah, there you go. We've got loads of troops now. <laughs> I'll take it. Thank you, game. Thank you. And also, we need to check the how the city's doing with the building. Because I have got it on... Uh, we might be probably at this point run out of money to boost construction speed. Yes, we have. There you go, guys. More money for the money gods. They're still building the fork, uh, the thingy ground, though. So it's a, I know it's a bit slow because we got low loyalty. But if we max this out, hopefully it will let, help us out a little bit more. I probably should as well. Uh, now let's let's go for the, let's go for the gold, shall we? Let's go for the gold. Let's try and get our second a second companion up, up running today. So an easy way of doing that is probably going to be a killing a castle. Right on. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the castle instead. Oh, how big is that going to be though? Oh wait, before I do anything else, is there how's? Wait, did she die? Wait a second. Oh. I thought I had um, crayons doing stuff. Maybe I didn't. Okay, before we do it, oh, really quickly, guys. Really quickly. Really, really quickly. We're going to go over here and we're going to just release my two new guys I added into the game. Just so they're doing stuff and getting some more Romans. And we head back to the castle and do it. Okay, um, oh, we've got loads of guys, actually. Oh, wait, uh, Quintus, you're already equipped, aren't you? So I'll, I'm happy let, letting you go. And we'll also throw out what this person we can rename later. And hopefully they can get ourselves some more Roman troops and stuff like that. So good luck, you two. Good luck. I always find releasing them to the city is only the best idea because it means they sometimes they just sit in the city and recruit troops there. So it's a lot safer than releasing them like with troops of their own. I always find they just get them killed anyway. <laughs> okay. Besiege the castle. Well, someone's level who's leveled up? Haven the Strange. You are definitely gonna become some kind of clan leader, so let's get you. Ooh, what would be the best thing here? Probably recruitment costs. I imagine you're gonna die a lot. <laughs> no offense, buddy. No offense. Oh, never mind. He's dead. It's a it's a roulette though, isn't it? It's a roulette. Like, people go, oh, you should always release units with um, party companions of allies. They die as well. It doesn't matter. They always die. They're awful at their jobs. They have no, they have no like, <laughs> self-preservation. They don't know what they're doing. Anyway, at least we won't, shall we? Oh, we're, oh, we're actually out of money. We are full on poor. What happened there? Oh, it's probably because I released those guys. Oh, no. This is bad. This is bad. You need to hurry up. Where are you shooting? There's nothing over there. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, you're awful. That was the most awful trebuchet I've ever seen in my entire life. No, it, it, the game is broken. The game is broken, everybody. Um, <laughs> no! Ranon, why are you doing this to me? Damn you. Damn you, Ranon. Damn you and everything you stand for. It's fine. It's okay, everybody. It's okay. What we do? <laughs> we do this. We do this mission. Oh, it's it's a close range death one. I like these. These are fun. Okay, so this is going to be a very quick battle because the enemy is literally in our faces. So we just have to do stuff right away. 
Um, I can't believe I nearly got away with recording a whole video without any nudity. And here we are! Nudity in front of my face in the last few minutes. I can't believe it. Why are Tailworlds obsessed with this? <laughs> it's not Tailworlds, by the way. It's the uh, mod developers. Well, I say it's, it's kind of half and half. So they developed new armors, but they haven't made a female variant. So the armor clips through. Like when the capes, when you first start playing the game, the capes were awful. They used to clip through everything. So now they're pretty good. But it just means if they have a body, it clips through the body. Are we in trouble here? I don't think we... There's, so, there's just stuff happening everywhere. We might be in a little bit of trouble here. So what I'm going to do... You guys, line formation, discharge and go away. Archers. We need to... Where did that tree come from? We need to quickly flank the enemy just so we have people getting killed on the side here. Um, oh, there's so many of them. Oh, there's enemies all over here still. Just be a little bit careful. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm trying to figure out how, where to put my guys, but it's a bit confusing. Um, they are following me, right? <laughs> you guys are following me, correct? They are. Okay, good. We have them in this forest. They got a little bit of cover, and they're attacking from the side. So hopefully they'll start killing the enemy archers. I'll try and protect the archers from the cavalry if I can. Wait, who's the enemy here? It's the skull guy! It's a fake! And I'm just gonna get out over here. I'm just gonna solo the enemy archer line, I think. Up my way. It's solo Tiberius time. Out! That, what the hell, man? You ruined it! Now I've got no HP! There's too many of them, I think, to do this. Oh, they actually ruined it. They actually ruined it. Screw those guys. Who was- It was you! It was actually him! Oh, I forgot. Um, Decimus hasn't got a good bow still, everybody, so he can't really do anything. They have so many archers. This is actually a big problem, everybody. We are on the side of them, though, so we should start this... Oh, wait, never mind. But I'll just run... Well, I'll, I'll slip, slipstream this guy. <laughs> slipstream luck. It's like we're doing uh, Squid Games. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> My cover's gone, damn it. That's probably the most devastating battle we've actually been in the entire like last ten episodes. <laughs> Why should I say that? We barely lost anybody. It should have been devastating, but it wasn't. Why did we get so many archers? Rim, rim, rim. No, we're not. Go, Shank Man. You are the Shank Prentice of Tiberius, my friend. You are the second most powerful Shanker in all the lands. Even to the Shield Bash. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> Enemies murdered. Everybody, win mode. The poor barbarians. Do we have enough? Oh, we're poor, aren't we? We've got no money. Okay, once again, where is... Damn you, woman! Damn you! I wanted to have a safe video for YouTube, but no! I can't have it now because you are in it. It's fine. I'll, I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. Um... Wait, let's be a little bit careful, everybody. Let's be a little bit careful because... Uh, first off, I can't afford this. I, can I afford this? No fear! <laughs> Wait, reset that. We take the. I don't want to risk the lords escaping because I I want them to be in my prison forever. Uh, I'm pretty sure I upgraded some of these guys in the wrong path here, but it is what it is. Need to siege. Quickly get back to base and end the video. I can we make it? Can we make it? I don't think we can. There's just not enough influence left. Bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Um. I'm kind of sad those guys died though, I'm not gonna lie, because I did release, I guess, I think the Empire is really unsafe there. It's a very, very large group of um, looters live around there. So I think if I ever spawned pa uh, party guys, they need to be over in those bases I was spawning them early, because it, it seems a lot safer over there. 
Okay, everybody. Well, we kind of failed our target there to get ourselves um, enough influence to do the thing, but it is what it is. Before I end today's episode, though, I'm going to quickly just throw some guys over at... Um, probably this one was safer. Shan. And we go from there. Um, what am I doing? What am I, what am I doing? I don't even know. Thieves. Yes, yes. You. One day. Not one day. What? One moment. One moment again. And we should be sorted. Okay. Go. Good luck out there, friends. Good luck out there. Well, everybody. So to say that's going to be today's episode. We did not expand as much as I would like. I would like to got two uh, castles sorted out there. But we have... We are on the crisp of getting a second... Well, not a second. Like, what is this? A fourth clan vassal at this point? And also more territory for the glory of the Roman Republic. Bye, then, everybody. I've been Fredex. Thank you for watching. As always, please watch... What? <laughs> what, what outro is that? I'm leaving it in. It's part of the comedy, right? It's totally fine. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.